So first up on Decred Construct, we have Luke Powell, who's a Politea developer. And Luke's going to give us a, a little introduction to Politea and tell us what's been going on with that recently. Hey, Luke. Hey, how are you doing today? Yeah, pretty good, Luke. How are you? Good, doing well. Um, yeah, so an introduction to Politea. Uh, Politea is the platform that we use for our proposal system, which is the off-chain voting system that we use in order to make decisions about um, how treasury funds should be spent. And then we also use it for what we call our contractor management system. So that's kind of our, our internal HR tool that we use for contractors submitting invoices and paying out those invoices. Um, and the whole concept behind Politea is it's based around this concept of transparent auditable storage. So on Politea, you, when you create a user account, you create a key pair. And then you use that key pair to basically sign everything you do on Politea, whether that's submit proposals, comments, even upvote or downvote comments. It's all signed by your private key so that every bit of data can be cryptographically traced back to a specific user. And then all that data is stored in a transparent manner. We uh, store it in Git repos on the back end that are publicly available. And then we, we periodically timestamp all that data onto the Decred blockchain so that the data uh, it's cryptographically verifiable that that data existed at you know block number X. Yeah, I've, we all have our Politea keys. It's a a kind of novel aspect of of having a user account on a website. We don't use a lot of people are not used to that, and it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, so yeah, maybe you could uh, tell us what the the kind of bigger developments have been with Politea recently, or what's coming up in the near future. Sure. So we launched in the end of 2018. Um, a lot of 2019 was really just trying to work out a lot of the kinks with this kind of new type of, you know, transparent auditable platform. Nothing like this has really existed. Um, so there's a, a big learning process of kind of working through the kinks. Um, and recently, uh, we just re were about to release um, a formalized RFP process. So in the past, we've had situations where we want to solicit multiple competing bids from different third parties. You know, example, this is the market makers proposal where we went out and found a couple different market makers and all of them had all of them bid individually to become a decred market maker. Um, and so, you know, before this was a very, you know, loose, undefined process on Politea. So we wanted to formalize it and we introduced this, this type of vote called a runoff vote where now if uh, we have an RFP uh, process, all of the bids will be voted on at one time. There will be a single winner. Um, it just streamlines the whole process. Um, and then also another big project that we have going on is really working on the scalability of Politea. Um, so it's built, like I said, it's built on essentially Git repos. Um, and there's quite a, there's a bunch of different problems with that. Um, there's some scalability problems. There's some usability problems. Um, and so we're working on a new architecture that solves a lot of these issues. Um, and that is going to be released this year, too. So like I said, kind of just working through um, a lot of these issues that come with launching a new type of platform and making it scalable. Um, and then, you know, the next kind of big integrations that we'll be focused on is integrating Lightning Network payments into the website so that people um, can tip other people for comments or things like that to incentivize, you know, really digging down into proposals and, and writing well-articulated comments. We want to incentivize that type of behavior. So integrating Lightning payments would be a great use case. Um, and we're also hooking Politea up to the, the Decred Treasury. So, um, you know, the way it will work in the future is that Politea will be for voting on proposals and spending. And then we have our contract management system that's also based on the same platform where all the invoices are submitted to bill against those proposals. And then those invoices will be paid from the Decred Treasury and all that will be hooked up together and the process streamlined so that the stakeholders have control over the whole process. Um, so that's kind of like where we're going in, in the next year. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Sounds amazing. Like I'm, you know, I'm I follow Politea pretty closely. And I'm looking forward to a lot of this. The the RFP proposals, like that's a real problem solver. Like makes things a lot clearer on that front, and stuff like the. It'll be really cool to see the the CMS more closely hooked up with the proposal system, so that we can track our our sort of budgets and stuff for the proposals, like on a on a more granular basis. Thanks very much for all of that, Luke. Is there anything else that you want to add before we move on? Nope, just um, you know, keep up with the project and we'll be putting out regular updates. Excellent. Thanks very much. Cheers, Luke. Bye-bye.
Okay, next up we're going to join Matthias De Giovanni in Brazil, who's taking the lead on the Lightning Network for Decred. Hey, Matthias, how's it going? Hi, uh, nice of you to have me here. No problem, it's great to have you on. So you're going to tell us about Decred's version of the Lightning Network, so perhaps a good place to start is to talk a little bit about how it's similar or different to Bitcoin's Lightning Network. Okay, so, so Decred's Lightning Network is uh, a port uh, of the LND Lightning Network implementation, so it's it's sort of a translated version of the of Bitcoin's LND code base back into Decred, uh, into the Decred blockchain. So uh, the main differences there are a lot of technical differences, but the 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 really substantial the most substantial differences is that Decred doesn't have or didn't have a Segwit. It has an entire different approach to transaction to the transaction malleability problem, and so all the the uh, the things that are done in Bitcoin to enable Lightning Network were sort of shipped in the first version of Bcred already. We we had to have some consensus changes along the way to enable certain missing feature features but most of the the layout of the of transactions uh, how scripts are, are written uh, all of that is pretty similar to bitcoin and we only had to we well only is is putting a little bit lightly but we we had to tweak basically how transactions are signed how transactions are are weighted weight uh, the the size of transactions are is calculated how the size of transactions is calculated uh, but overall was a reasonably uh, simple if very uh, long work very hard work to to do so when was it that you you caught up finally with the the sort of bitcoin version of lightning network okay so so the last release uh, the, the last release we we did which is 1.5 uh, is up to date with uh, LND's version 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Uh, we're planning uh, the next release, which is 1.6 for the next few months. So probably in, in a couple of months, we're be, we'll be releasing the full set of Decred software version 1.6, which will include version 0 0.10, of LND, or if uh, if there is any new release of LND closer to when we release 1.6, then we'll probably also pick up some of the the most recent fixes. But right now we have a PR open to update it to to the just released LND version 0 0.10. So we're pretty much in sync with what Bitcoin uh, or what the the Bitcoin-based ecosystem for LND is doing. Great. Is there anything else? Uh, from Lightning Network perspective, there's a, an interesting, a, a very interesting new development, which is multi-path multi -path payments, which allows you to 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 send a payment for from uh, using multiple channels. So uh, so you can make payments that are larger than any individual channel you might have open. So that's a, a very big usability uh, usability fix or usability improvement on Lightning Network. Uh, we have some, some Decred specific stuff that we are working on. Maybe it's probably not going to be on 1.6 since we're we're getting ready to to start finishing the the version but we'll probably be working on some interesting stuff on decred and one of the things that i i hope that we can test maybe even before bitcoin can test it because it requires on-chain changes that bitcoin doesn't have yet uh, is the ptlc uh, the PTLC family of, of payments. So basically, today in Lightning Network, if you want to pay, if you want to send a payment, that payment is bound to the pre-image of a, a given hash function or the pre-image of uh, uh, the hash of a given pre-image. Uh, 
PTLCs they change somewhat this this uh, this behavior by by making your payment depend not on a hash challenge but on a on a public key or on a on a ECD on a elliptic curve challenge on a cryptography challenge and so that allows us to do a lot of of that opens up a lot of opportunities or a lot of new use cases within lightning network and given that decred already implements Shinar signatures in its in its blockchain even on mainnet we can leverage that we can use that to sort of uh, see what a ptlc based lightning network looks like without having to wait for the Bitcoin blockchain to implement it. So that's one thing that, that I'm really looking forward to test out in Decred's Lightning. Yeah, it's really cool the way that you guys have a different kind of approach to these problems because there's the option there of amending the consensus rules if it's going to improve the UX for Lightning significantly. Yes, exactly. So, so that's the that's one of the the major advantages of having a, a a blockchain where you can actually propose and you can actually work in uh, hard parking changes. So, what about then into the further into the future, the medium or long term future for Lightning Network? I know you had a a very popular series of blog posts about ticket splitting on Lightning. Yeah, so that's one that's one of the more uh i'm not sure blue sky is the the correct term here but it's more of a, a long term yeah. uh a long-term application of lightning that is decred specific so decred's staking system requires you to lock your decred for up to four months on a ticket which is a special kind of transaction and currently if you want to do that you have to to lock in about 140 decred which for some users is a lot of money. It's a lot of decred to keep locked for a, a long time. And so Lightning offers uh, a possible solution to the multi-owner ticket problem, a possible uh, cleaner solution than the currently existing one, which is based on on-chain transactions. And with Lightning, we can come up with uh, an off-chain solution that allows us to, to build, for example, a 1,000 multi-owner tickets, so uh, a thousand users could help and cooperate to build a single ticket and to participate in decred staking uh, process and decision-making process. All right, thanks very much, Matthias, for for joining us and giving us an update on the Lightning Network. Uh, thank you for for giving me the chance to do this. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.